Why did God change our diet? Because sin changed everything. Adam, if you eat of the fruit of the tree, you will surely what? Die. Death is an enemy. Death entered because of sin. But if you believe in millions of years, we need to understand this. We need to be raising generations up to understand, look, you can't be consistent and believe in millions of years and add it to the Bible. Many church leaders do today. Many of our pastors do, our, our Christian college professors, seminary professors. But if you believe in millions of years, if the fossil record was laid down millions of years before man, the fossil record has evidence that animals were eating each other. But wait a minute, the Bible says they're vegetarian to start with. The fossil record has evidence of diseases like cancer and arthritis and brain tumors and so on. Wait a minute, when God first made everything, he said it was all very good. He wouldn't call cancer very good. There are thorns in the fossil record said to be hundreds of millions of years old. The Bible says thorns came after the curse. You see, these two accounts of the past don't fit together. One is a perfect world marred by sin and now it's a groaning world because of sin. That's why there's death here. In, in fact, when Adam sinned, we forfeited, we and Adam forfeited our right to live. And so God placed upon us the curse or the judgment of death so our bodies would die, but our souls, we would live forever separated from God. But, but he already had a plan to step into history in the person of the Son of God to die on a cross, be raised from the dead and offer a free gift of salvation to save us from what we did. God wants to save us from what we did. But these two things, millions of years of death and suffering and animals eating each other and thorns and diseases leading up to man or the other one, a perfect world marred by sin and now it's groaning because of sin, you can't add them together, not consistently. And you see, children understand that. They start to realize when you take man's ideas, man's religion and add it into the Bible and reinterpret God's word, you're undermining the authority of the word of God. What you're really saying is God doesn't mean what he says here. We don't take it as written. That's why when I have parents say to me, but I told little Johnny, you know, it doesn't matter if you believe in millions of years in evolution as long as you say God did it because God could have done anything. And my answer is it's not what God could have done, it's what God said he did. And if you've just told little Johnny that what God said he did is not true, then you've just undermined the authority of Scripture.